Good morning, St. Thomas More. A few important announcements from guidance regarding semester two timetable changes. Guidance counselors will be available for appointments during the exam break. The online booking system will open up this Wednesday, January 25th at 3 p.m. If you are unable to get an appointment during the exam break, you will have another opportunity during the drop and add period, which will run from Friday, February the 3rd to Friday, February the 10th inclusive. On Friday, February the 3rd, the first day of semester two, guidance counselors will only see students that have a conflict on their schedule and it will be on a first come, first serve basis. At 3 p.m. on Friday, the February the 3rd, the online booking system will reopen for students to book an ap appointment during the remainder of the drop and add period. Please note the following when booking your appointment. You must book with your grade level counselor or your appointment will be canceled. Guidance counselors will not entertain any teacher or lunch change requests. Please do not waste your time or hours. Finally, there have been many changes to students semester two schedule, especially for our grade nine students. Please ensure you check your updated schedule in Aspen as we get closer to the start of semester two. Have a great day, STM. Good morning. I have a few messages today regarding exams. Uh, this is a message for people that are writing exams in alternate settings. If you have an IEP and you are writing with resource, please report to the library at 7.45 a.m. or as soon as you get to school. And don't forget to bring your textbooks with you. Some of you are writing in Student Success. Please arrive in time for the bell and you can just come straight to Student Success. We will handle attendance, so on and so forth. If you are an English language learner, some of you have prearranged with Ms. Danielowitz to write your full exam in the library. You know who you are. And if you don't, and if you're not sure, please talk to Ms. Danielowitz. <coughs> there are some English language learners, the rest of the English language learners rather, um, have uh, the opportunity to have extra time in the library after their exam. So they'll be writing their exams in class and then they're escorted to the library in case they need some extra time. If you have any questions and you're not sure if you're writing in an alternate setting or if you need some more details, please speak to your resource teacher, your student success teacher, or your ELL student success teacher. This is another message today from on behalf of Mr. Pongetti, who is our Christian service animator. Um, next week, you might have some additional time to do uh, some extra Christian service, and there are a number of you who still need to submit your hours, especially those of you who are in grade 12. There are, exam time can be a good time to uh, get some extra hours in, especially if you finish early, if you have a couple of extra days off. There's also a PD day coming up next week as well, so that's a good opportunity to get some extra hours. If you look on the ad wall, there is a QR code that, ha that you can scan that has a whole bunch of different opportunities that you can explore for Christian service, so please check that out. Also, there is an opportunity coming up on March 5th if you like children, if you like Disney, if you like singing, if you just like helping out with a charity event. They need people to help out at the McMaster Children's Hospital. Is, um, there is a charity daddy and daughter fairy tale ball on March 5th and they need people to dress up as Disney princesses, costumes provided, so that sounds like fun, with a strong theater or vocal background and also individuals who would like to help out with decorating prior to the opening of the event, craft tables, raffle events, etc. So if you are interested in that opportunity, that gets you at least eight hours. And again, that's on March 5th. Um, you can see me in Student Success, or it'll be posted outside of Guidance, and you can also talk to Mr. Pongetti. So don't forget to scan the QR code for additional Christian service opportunities. Thank you. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. What do you think? Do you think I could qualify for that, uh, that fun program that Mrs. D was just talking about? Probably not. I'm fully aware of what I fall short in, and singing may be one of them, but entertaining isn't. And staying warm is one of my absolute treasures. 
That's why I'm speaking with you today, St. Thomas More. I miss you. How are you? Happy New Year. Study hard for your exams. Ask for help. I speak to you today on behalf of our outreach program. We finally got snow. It is Canada. We are known for snow in the winter and it has fallen. With that comes some temperatures that drop. We also have here an opportunity for you to stay warm. We have jackets, we have coats for guys, for gals, for everyone under the sun. We have boots. And remember, I have a six and nine year old and I have to tell them to put boots on, just like we have to tell some of you to put boots on in the summer, or <laughs> in the winter. So I want you to know that if you are looking for some extra help staying warm, battling the weather, please come see us in student success, in guidance, in ELL. Ask your teacher, find me specifically if you need. We have coats for all and they're just waiting on the, on the stage for you to take them home. Mittens, toques, footwear. We're here for you, STM. Don't try and do it without. Have a great day. You are loved. Good morning, STM. My name is Naomi. And I'm Chloe, and we are from the Diversity Committee. Saturday, January 21st was Lincoln Alexander today. Day. Today at STM, we pay tribute to one of Hamilton's most historic and distinguished figures. Sir Lincoln Alexander was a champion of quality, of equality and excellence his entire life. He leaves behind his biggest legacy, the Lincoln Alexander Parkway, which is nicknamed the Link. STM, we honor this great man today with this video tribute. Thank you. Alexander passed away at the age of 90 in 2012. His granddaughter says his fingerprints are all over the last decade. Even though he passed, um, you know, 10 years early of his goal, there's been so much happening in his honor over the past um, nine or so years that uh, even without him being here, his legacy is still continuing to move forward. He loves folks so much that when they would meet him on the street or whether they were parliamentarians or royalty, he would ask them to simply call him Link. And I think Link was what he did for all of us. Link was a lawyer who became the first black member of parliament in Canada, the first black federal cabinet minister. He was also lieutenant governor from 1985 to 1991. His widow says he never stopped serving. He had a need, a passion to serve, even in his later years he would still continue to provide hope and provide assistance to anybody that would ask him. Erica Alexander says her grandfather was one of her best friends. She didn't realize he was important until she was a bit older. As I grew older, I started to recognize how important his roles were uh, in life, mostly from the way that other people would react to him. And that, that kind of gave me a clue that he was kind of a big deal. In his honor, the Lincoln M. Alexander Awards are given annually to students and community leaders who work to eliminate racial discrimination. One of the recipients is McMaster University grad Sydney Hussett Richardson for her work in the local black community. The most important thing that's like come from me getting this award is that I hope that other students and other um, black kids are seeing it and being like, you know, like I can I can do something for my community too. And just like that, Link's legacy continues. Good morning, STM. My name is Shama, and here are your announcements for today. To all students who have signed up for the Waterloo Math Contest, please note that you must bring your $5 deposit to Ms. Shirelli by Wednesday, January 25th, in order to complete your registration. This is a message for all members of the Novice Girls Volleyball Team. There were no practices or games this week. Our next practice will be on February 1st at 4. See you all there. Attention all wrestlers. There will be a practice after school today in the cafeteria. If you are unable to stay for practice, please come at the beginning for a brief meeting. Practice schedule and city championships will be discussed. See you all at 2.45. Thanks, STM. Good morning, St. Thomas More. I'm Mason Jovanangeli. And I'm Rella Runko, and here's today's student council announcements for you. If you have not yet filled out your prom table form, head over to our Instagram, STM underscore council, where the link it is to fill it out in our bio. 
Sorry, let me say it one more time. The link to fill out your prom table form is in our Instagram bio. Our Instagram is stm underscore council. This must be completed by tomorrow. If not, you will be placed at a random table with random people for your prom. As well, if you ordered a crew neck, please come by the council office on your lunch period to pick it up. Just make sure you have proof of purchase ready to show us. We would also just like to wish everyone good luck on their upcoming exams. Make sure you study hard and try your best. And remember, if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council for any updates or reminders. Thanks, Knights. Have an amazing day. Love, I would already have you up. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 826. And remember, it's a great day to be a knight.